Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about some NBA news. The first uh, NBA news of the offseason. Now the 2023 NBA season has concluded after the Denver Nuggets won the championship last night. If you haven't watched my Game 5 recap for my thoughts on the, on the final game of this series, go watch it. Yeah, let's get into this NBA news. Uh, Skip Bayless, he had a take about Jimmy Butler. He said, quote, he doesn't belong in the Hall of Fame, says Mr. Skip Bayless. Good thing Jimmy Butler doesn't care about Skip Bayless and his ability to constantly pick a player and then act like they're the devil when they let him down is so elite. Like, I think he does deserve it. I think he deserves to make the Hall of Fame. He isn't first ballot, though, and this series kind of showed why. I mean, he's kind of playing injured, but that's kind of no excuse. If you're injured, you shouldn't play. I think he should get. I think he should get in the Hall of Fame. I don't think he's like a first ballot or anything, but I think he should get in the Hall of Fame. If Manu Ginobili can make the Hall of Fame, then Jimmy Butler can make it. The media just put put but just puts Butler. He is an end, so he's held to a standard that isn't real. So when he doesn't look to it, the media spin cycle resumes it's like clockwork. There's players with worse accolades have made in the Hall of Fame. With the rate Jimmy's going, people shouldn't be surprised if he makes the Hall of Fame. Because I say don't be surprised if he makes the Hall of Fame. So we have Perry report here. Some teams are are keeping a clo very close eye on Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. So, I feel like he's not leaving. That team is the same thing we talk about every year with Damian Lear. Like, oh, well, teams are going to keep a close eye on Damian Lear. We might trade for him and it doesn't end up happening. I think the same thing's going to happen with Bradley Beal. I mean, some people thought, oh, he could get traded to the Heat. I saw something, maybe Duncan Robson and Tyler Hero for Bradley Beal. I feel like the Wizards would say no to that. It's pretty much the Suns and the Sixers uh, in the article here. <sighs> Will he finally get traded? Who knows? But it's official. The offseason doesn't begin until the Bradley Beal and, uh, Dame rumors begin in the off season. All these rumors, and they're just gonna stay with their teams. And keep, and he's staying there. There's zero reason for him being that team, though. I think the Wizards should trade him, try and go into a rebuild, but I don't think they will. But nobody wants him for forty million a year when Damian Lillard's out there to be, get traded for. But he's got a no trade clause. I'll s I'm sleep until when it's when slash if it's official. But nobody's gonna want his contract. So we a former Eastern Conference executive here blasted Tyler Hero. Quote: He needs the ball in his hands. They probably play better as a team without him. Lowry is Lowry. Vincent is Vincent. Maybe they're not as productive with Hero. Not to mention, he's a hole in their defense. End quote. Via Eric Pinkus. Pinkus. So, of course, we can't get a name here. If, if, if you're a former executive and you say this, your name should be put out there. I don't care. I'm tired of these anon anonymous GMs or executives. This man didn't even play during their entire run. Somehow, how he's been, somehow he's been blamed. Sure, yeah, he's not a great defender. But there were times they definitely needed scoring. Struce and Benson were up and down the finals. And you know who could have helped? Tyler Hero. And quote, he's not a great defender. They're playing Max Struce and Duncan Robinson, who were trash defenders too. Well, he's not blamed, but critiqued. But I guess some people have got to deflect the blame from Jimmy Butler somehow. But, but you use the argument, he's not a great defender. Yeah, they're playing Max Struce and Duncan Robinson. I don't know, it looks like they needed... Looks like they need shot making to me. Looks like they need shot making. But y'all gotta stop posting these quotes while I'm here. They're screwed to speak up. 
But if they're scared to speak up and say it, don't even post a quote. We had the highest plus game, plus minus per game of the Heat this season. It would have made a little difference. It would have made a difference winning the series, though. So, yeah. But some rival executives expect Miami to trim the payroll this offseason, which they probably will. Like Tyler Hero, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, Don Don Greer says, "quote says it was quote challenging coaching James Harden." via the Bill Simmons podcast. They said, quote, it was challenging. End quote. More, end quote. It was challenging. More because we were fighting two things and not visually fighting. James was so good at playing one way and the way I believe you have to play to win in some ways is different because it's, because it's a lot of giving up the ball, moving the ball, coming back to the ball. End quote. This is on the Bill Simmons podcast. Doc Rivers shouldn't talk at all, man. We'd call a t- we'd call a timeout, and his co- coaching would be, "Oh, come on, guys, come on, guys, let's do it, come on." That's literally what he does. He doesn't even fucking drop plays. He blames others for him being a terrible coach. Did James Harden play bad in that series against the Celtics near down the stretch? Yes, but he's literally throwing his players under the bus. Hey, hey, Doc Rivers, Ty, uh, Dwight Howard's calling. They need a coach in Taiwan. Doc Rivers never takes accountability. He's generation. That's generational throwing under the bus. I know we can critique James Harden all we want, but Doc is just flat out wrong. You, you would think the coach saying this would have a more legitimate offensive scheme. Skip Bayless on Undisputed. He had another bad take. What news? Skip Bayless having a bad take. Quote, Joel Embiid is more dom- is a more dominating, intimidating basketball player than Nikola Jokic is. End quote. Skip Bayless. Okay, didn't, jo- I th- didn't, just, didn't Jokic just win a championship or something there, uh, Mr. Mr. Bayless? Um, he got a finals MVP. Uh, Embiid getting all those second round exits. Whew. Doesn't seem like an intimidating player compared to a guy that just won a championship with a fully healthy court this time, might, might I add, and a Finals MVP. Should have won the MVP this year, to be honest. Three straight MVPs should have been. And something Embiid couldn't do. Embiid is a nice player, but Jokic is better. And Jokic has Murray, and Embiid had Harden. No excuses for Embiid. And no, he's if he if he if he was why didn't why did he duck Jokic in that ring in that game late in the season? Oh, because he was injured. If he was injured, why did he play two days later? He got dominated and clapped by Al Horford in a game seven. Not this time, Skip. I hardly disagree. I guess everybody else does too. Oh, dude, Skip, I was a fucking clown. Maybe Embiid's more and it's intimidating until he gets to the second round of the playoffs because he can't get out of the second round. Uh, Shannon Sharp was officially signed off of Undisputed, so Shannon Sharp is done. Wonder if Skip let him finish his monologue. Yep. He is officially done. Chris Mannix isn't ready to call Nikola Jokic an all-time player yet. Quote, I'd probably feel differently about Jokic if he had gone through Boston or Milwaukee or in a matchup with Joel Embiid. End quote. He basically said in his thing he put in the comments, like, it's not all what he was saying. Um, but tail Boston Milwaukee to beat the eighth seed and tell him B to make it past the second round so then he can play them. It's like, this makes no sense. Quote, I'm not going to dismiss Miami and he proceeds to dismiss Miami. So basically he's been dominating so much that he needs to struggle more to shine. This doesn't make sense, dude. You beat the team you're playing against. Jokic had arguably the best finals performance ever. This is just, this, this is just such a wild take. 
who let this guy have, a, have, a, have an opinion? This dude, Jokic, is a two-time Finals MVP and a Finals MVP now. It's Jokic. It's not Jokic's fault these teams didn't make it. It's the, the own team's fault that they couldn't make it. Has Chris Mannix ever had a good take? Because every time I see him, he has a horrible take. Jason Williams doesn't think Oscar Robertson would survive in today's NBA. You remember White Chocolate, um, Jason Williams, quote, All these older players were great, but to me, the game's evolved. It's hard to compare these players to. They were all great in their own way, but like Oscar, he won the greatest ever, correct? He can't play today. That's what I'm saying. And quote, on via all the smoke. I don't know. Other players, older players maybe would have adapt, adapt, adapted to today's league. At least in my opinion. Alex Crusoe was just named to the NBA's all defensive team. Oscar would thrive in this era. At least in my opinion. Jason Williams is irrelevant now. I guess he's just trying to get some attention. Lil Wayne, he contacted Skip Bales to connect with John Morant so that he could mentor him in an, in an effort to assist Jaw. Jaw and his camp never replied. What a crazy friendship. Lil Wayne and Skip Bales being friends is crazy to me. That's crazy. Lil Wayne maybe would be a good role model for Jaw, but I, I don't think that. I don't think so. You can't help someone who doesn't want help. John Morant just doesn't want that help. Spencer Dinwiddie, he has arrived in China. So, yes, that's where he belongs. Because he's trash. He's not a good player anymore. He used to be good, but not anymore. Get ready to learn Chinese, buddy. Where's Jordan Poole and Max Struess? They need to be on their way to China as well. Jordan Poole's next in line. Ben Simmons is next in line to arrive to China, I'm hearing. Glad to see he's meeting his new teammates there. Just kind of joking around, but yeah, I don't know why he's in China. The Miami Heat made a trade off of Kyrie Evers the day for Kyrie Irving at the trade deadline. Shams per Shams. Miami's expected to be in the market for a star player this offseason. And this is from Shams. And all these Kyrie rumors have us NBA fans like, is he gonna, is he really staying with the Mavericks or is he gonna get moved? But with, people say, oh, with what assets? I mean, they have players they can move. It just determines if they want to move him for a star player. But outside of Cody Zeller and Tyler Hero, everyone else on the Heat roster increased their value this season. I mean, Vincent and Martin made their case, actually. I thought, I think. But he's staying with the Mavs. I don't, there's no way he was going to go to the Heat. They shouldn't have Trey for Kyrie, and Boston won't have to worry about them anymore. I expect some big names to try and pair up with Jimmy Mann this offseason. We're going to see who. Ten people were unfortunately involved in a mass shooting in Denver following the Nuggets' win. Uh, celebrating their NBA championship. Shooting took place about a mile from the Ball Arena. So, unfortunately, another mass shooting. Just say, especially after a championship, all those fans celebrating. Innocent fans just getting shot for no reason. I think, uh, fortunately, they all survived, I think. So, that's good news. Shams on the Pelicans potentially trading is on. I'm told the Pelicans are going after Scoot Henderson, which we talked about yesterday. They could trade it for the second or third pick. Do the Pelicans look hard intentionally, internally of, of moving Zion Williamson? Question mark? End quote. So, they're looking to trade in the draft. If, I don't know. This is a delicate situation. You can't trade him right now, but how long do you wait before you have to? But maybe the trades, maybe the times to trade him now. This is as high as his value going to get. While the value, while the team still thinking his value, it's time to trade him. If you're t Pelicans, if you want to get a good young, a younger, a good young player in Scoot Henderson, a good young guard, and Zon's value is, I think, as high as it's going to get right now. At least as of now. Uh, KCP is now a two-time champion. So that's and the Denver Nuggets are now your world champions. 2023 Finals Game 4 had the second lowest viewership since 2007 Finals Game 4. Game 4 of the 2020 Finals remains the lowest. I mean, yeah, Game 4 is kind of boring. It's been a terrible, it was a terrible kind of boring Finals, but the right team won. Jimmy Butler doesn't plan to attend his Hall of Fame ceremony if he makes the Hall of Fame. So, I mean, he's not even going to attend. He wants to be different so bad. He... 
I mean, I think he'll make it. People say, oh, he won't make it. He will. It's just, you know, he's trying, I think he's just trying to say it's to look cool, but I don't think he is. But yeah, that's all I'm saying. Until next time, I'll